rugby legend uh, at Loftus Fersfeld this Friday. Family, friends and the rugby fraternity as well as government officials have continued to pay tribute. Van der Westhuizen died at his home yesterday morning at the age of 45 after losing a battle with motor neuron disease. Joining us now to share his memories of the former scrum half is teammate and now rugby commentator Henny LaRue. A very good morning to you, Henny, and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much. Can you tell us what yours was like uh, as a teammate? Yeah, well, he, re he really... It put Optimized the game, you know, in the truest form, a legend of the Springbok, and uh, he was always an inspiration to all, all the players. He was such a privilege to have played with, and uh, he's, he'll really he'll be fondly remembered by all those who played with and against him. Uh, you say against him. We've seen so many tributes uh, pour in from international rugby players. One that really sits top of mind is the tribute paid by Dan Carter saying that Joost was uh, one of the non-all black players that he simply adored. Now you also played on opposite sides with Joost when you guys played at, at franchise level. You guys were on different sides of the Yerkes game. What was he like as uh, an opponent? Well, he was the one person I didn't want to play against just because he was so quick and he had such great anticipation. So uh, as an opponent, you had to be very wary of him. What do you think his biggest contribution to the game actually was? Well, I think it's his character, his ability to take on any situation and try and bring it under control. You know, he was someone you could rely on to change the game, like he did so many times for the Bulls or for South Africa. And uh, you, you never, he was unpredictable. So uh, as a player playing with him, uh, you knew something would happen if Eust was in the side. <laughs> He won everything that you possibly could want to win when it comes to rugby, a Rugby World Cup. He also captained the Springboks. He won a Tri-Nations, won two Curry Cups with the Blue Bulls. Uh, what do you think his greatest achievement was? Well, I think, you know, he has broadly based, uh, besides the uh, successes on the field, is also post, uh, you know, getting involved with the motor neuron disease and really... <laughs> bringing that to the attention of the world. All right, uh, well, Henny's phone just uh, goes off there. We do hope to uh, get him back on the line so we can continue that uh, Skype discussion. I think we can uh, continue it now. Oh. I think somebody Hello. desperately wants to try and get hold of Henny Lou. Perhaps they've seen him on a Morning Live and they want to say, hey, we see yeah. you on TV. All right, so now we all get to hear that he's uh, just uh, asking whoever it is that's calling him just to, to hold on. He wants to complete uh, this uh, conversation. Now, Van der was given two and a half years to actually live when he was diagnosed with ALS, which is a form of motor neuron disease in 2011. And uh, it took six years before he actually succumbed to the disease, which is just testament to his fighting spirit. And this is something that, Henny, you are actually speaking about. He was so much more than just a man that was a brilliant rugby player. Henny, I just want to check that you're still on the line with us. Uh, you were saying before your phone went off that uh, uh, Joost was so much more than just a fabulous rugby player, but he did so much to bring motor neuron disease uh, to, to the fore and to actually get people to speak about it and start, to start understanding it a little bit better. All right, unfortunately, I think we have uh, actually come to the end of that conversation. Uh, it's a pity um, we have lost connection with Henny LaRue. All right, that concludes uh, a quick look at what's been happening in your sports world. Of course, it has been the biggest story and a memorial service will be held at Loftus Fasfeld uh, here in Gauteng come a Friday. We will have more sport for you after...